How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night. Hope everyone enjoyed the three-day weekend, if you had it. About 10 o'clock here in the p.m., California time, May 27th, 2024. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Shows a 1.8 into the region of California. And uh, I've seen another one on here somewhere, but uh, for now, that 1.8. Latest quake there. Covering earthquake activity first here, and then we'll look at space weather in just a second. Earthquake activity continues in a little swarm here just south of the border uh, into the Baja California area. Continue to keep an eye on this as we're, uh, you know, we've been watching a couple different areas of swarming here in the last couple weeks. So Southern California still potentially could see some larger movement out here uh, further up north of the border. Not a whole lot of swarming around the San Andreas Fault, but uh, for now, just uh, we'll keep an eye on that uh, southern portion here. Just off the plate boundary in the Baja California area. Not a big one. We've seen about 11 earthquakes or so of the 2 and 3 magnitude with a largest of a 4.2 earthquake. Uh, there's that little lonesome earthquake up here on the San Andreas Fault near Ridgemark, a 1.3. Aside from that, Northern California did have some activity earlier this morning near the Lake Almanor region. But uh, since then, things have uh, been somewhat quiet. Cascadia subduction zone remains quiet as well. Uh, let's double check the trimmer map here tonight. See what's going on. Uh, 432 epicenters of trimmer. Looks like uh, just underneath the Northern California area. Not for sure what all that's about. Um, looks like we're good, hopefully. Noticing a little bit of a, a little slow, glitchy type of maneuvering here on the audio. So hopefully it's good. Uh, let me double check here with the... Underneath the Northern California here. About, um... All right. Okay, I guess it's good. <laughs> Had to double check. I didn't want to do a uh, decent update here and have to redo it. But uh, some weird stuff going on here. You guys see that little errors over here there's like some type of uh boxes that are showing up not for sure why but uh it's a little weird all right anyway um 432 epicenters of trimmer northern california that's the southern end of the cascadia subduction zone what is going on i don't know if you guys can see that or not but uh awfully weird all right i'm getting off this page here uh we'll go back here to the usgs map take a look here see what's going on uh, not a whole lot through the uh, rest of the country. Some minimal activity, it looks like, across Texas and whatnot, uh, even one way up into Kansas. There's Solomon, uh, Kansas, beautiful state of Kansas, outside of the Salina region, a little 2.7. Eastern portion of the country, pretty quiet, aside from a, a little quake uh, in the Chesterfield, New Hampshire area, 1.4. Uh, the rest of the model here. As you can see, things uh, not quite active as what we've seen in the last few days in terms of larger movement. Uh, still need to keep an eye on a couple different regions. Look at this earthquake into the Kuril Kamachaka Trench. It is a deep one. For, uh, I don't believe it's at 4.4. There we go. It's at 3.8. 435 kilometers deep here just earlier this evening into the Kuril Kamachaka. Now, the USGS not really showing anything up here, but uh, there is a handful of earthquakes for sure. Uh, in that region and I uh, got to keep an eye on it because this area is very capable of producing some uh, damaging earthquakes and uh, it's been a little while since we've seen any uh, down south here into the Tonga Kermadec Trench area New Zealand older movement quakes there from this morning it looks like some deeper activity here around the Solomon Islands once again that's uh, just east of the Papua New Guinea area uh, I believe it's going to be that one right there 4.8 Fairly deep, 257 kilometers deep here. Big Island of Hawaii. Things are uh, still just at a standstill. Just kind of uh, waiting and watching. Really no new movement out here, it looks like. And in terms of the inflation out here across the volcano. Well, let's see what we have here for the Kilauea volcano. I'm going to go down here to the deformation data and see what's up. Looks like it's leveled off here. Uh, we're looking at a, a deflationary event. This looks awfully smooth. 
I don't know. That looks a little weird. Most of the time, data is going to come in all choppy and a little bit of up and down, but this looks like it's been filtered or something. I don't know. Either way, um, we should start coming back up here again in terms of the inflation. If we look at the long-term models here over the last uh, month or so, each stair-stepping event, inflation event, gets bigger than the one before. So, But that's... Uh, after a little period of deflation or stationary uh, events right there like we're seeing right now. So more likely tomorrow we'll see this rise back up and then we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, things are uh, quite inflated there across the region. Uh, Iceland, let's go up there and check that real quick. It just, you know, there's, there's always volcanoes stirring up out here, but these are one of the, at least two of the main areas I'm kind of watching. I don't know what that is here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just popping up little uh, little weird things out here. And maybe you guys can't see it, but man, on my side, it's kind of odd. Not for sure what's going on here. I did install a new uh, cooling fan. I don't think that would have anything to do with it, um, but uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Anyway, earthquake activity kind of stirring up out here across the uh, Grindavik area. See, look at that. That's really weird. And uh, around the crater area as well. But we're going to check the last 12 hours or so. Not a whole lot here, but we're still keeping an eye on things. As, uh, you know, obviously this area is quite compacted and inflated underneath the area as well. All right, space weather activity. Well, there is our sunspot out there. Uh, former sunspot 3664. And uh, it has been named, it looks like. With a new name, 3697. So I think we're going to be chatting about 3697 here uh, for a little while. At least uh, a week or so while it's on the Earth-facing side of the sun. Uh, it is still popping off, you know, large flares. We've seen that X flare the other night from this sunspot uh, with the X 2.9. Uh, as this sunspot right here was previously over here, uh, it produced the largest solar flare this solar cycle before departing the western limb and making a full return trip to where it's at right now so uh still quite complex uh i want to see a little bit more visual out here um here in the, in the next cu couple days or so we'll get a little bit better perspective of how complex this is but obviously if it's thrown out x flare still uh, that's a, a sign that we could still see some uh, further activity here in the days to come. Now, definitely seen some activity stirring up out here on this area of the uh, sunspot, different sunspot. Getting uh, quite a bit of dynamic intermixing here of the polarities in that magnetic structure from 3695. Uh, it looks like it's currently flaring a little bit, a little bit of flaring out here is from this area as well. Overall threat remains somewhat elevated, 25% chance for an X flare, proton event at 5, M flare at 55% chance, and C flare around 99% chance or so. But uh, it looks like things are getting ready to kick back up here. There's that X flare from last night, X 2.9 from 3697, former sunspot 3664. No major roars in the forecast, as you can see, but uh, I have a feeling that's going to change here. All right, uh, what else we got here? Let me get back to the earthquake activity, see if there's anything else going on here. 3.0 coming into the uh, Java Trench area right now. Did see some activity stirring up out here today in the uh, 4 range. I think we even had a 5-pointer right here. Into the uh, Indonesia region, right on the Java Trench. Pretty shallow earthquake there. So we'll just kind of watch things tonight, see how they go. Uh, but uh, definitely, I expect to uh, see some larger flares here, probably by morning time as well. Um, Texas, look at that activity out in Texas. Let me zoom in there and see what we got. A lot of swarming going on out here just outside the Pecos, Texas area. Quite a few twos and threes in this little swarming region. Uh, now this area is, um, um, oh, it's got a whole bunch of these 
oil pumping operations out here. Wastewater disposal pond, as you can see right here. Uh, and you know, it's kind of hard to see, but there's oil tanks out here all over the place. So including around the area of interest here, these are some pumps, uh, some more pumps right here as well. If we pulled up Google Earth, we'd probably see a little bit better perspective, but uh, you guys get it. There's a lot of oil fields out here and uh, definitely getting hit today. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that. And a lot of times when things really ramp up out here, that's when we need to keep an eye here on the new Madrid seismic zone, potentially further earthquake activity up here in the northeast as well. So watch these regions here overnight. We'll see what it looks like in the morning, see if we don't get uh, some earthquake activity there or not. Um, let's see, seismograph stations here look uh, pretty quiet for now. Uh, Storm Prediction Center in terms of severe weather. Uh, let's check out day two outlook. This is going to be for tomorrow, Tuesday. Got a pretty nice large area right here of enhanced weather potential with uh, looks like minimal tornado potential at a 2%. That's pretty low, uh, but not non-existent. Main threat is going to be some large hail and damaging winds right there from those uh, thunderstorms that pop up. Some straight line winds uh, can do quite a bit of damage as well. So keep an eye on the sky tomorrow. Uh, got some large hail potential. Most uh, everyone will be back at work. Uh, so make sure, you know, you got, got a safe place to park your car there from the uh, uh, large hailstones falling out of the sky out here. All right, uh, I'm going to call it, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here uh, sometime in the morning. And uh, i got to figure out what's going on with the uh, a little bit of weird, the weirdness going on here on the screen. It's just not, it's not this page. It's, uh, well, it almost looks like it is. It was starting to key up out here a little bit. Looked a little strange. It's when I click on things. I don't, I don't know. That's so weird. Anyway, all right. We'll see you guys back here in the morning for the uh, Tuesday morning update. Take care, folks, and have yourself a wonderful, beautiful night.